Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father God, that you are a great and mighty God. Father, we come to you right now in humility and full surrender in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that Jesus came to set the captives free. And so, Father God, I thank you for the story of Lazarus. Jesus commanded them to roll away the stone from the tomb. And then Jesus called Lazarus' name. And even though Lazarus was resurrected, Father God, and even though he emerged from the tomb, we saw that he was still bound. He had been wrapped up with the grave clothes from head to toe, Lord. But Jesus commanded them to take the grave clothes from him, to set him free, to make sure that he was completely free indeed. And so Father God, right now we pray for ourselves, we pray for our families, Lord, we pray for the church, we pray for our relatives, our neighbors, our co-workers, and those attached to us, oh God. We pray, oh God, that salvation will come to them. We pray, oh God, that you will remove any stone that's blocking them from seeing you. Father God, remove the stone and give them the chief cornerstone and his name is Jesus. Father God, I thank you for your truth that will set us free. Father, remove the grave clothes of shame, fear, perversion, pride, premature death, infirmities, sicknesses, and disease. Remove, oh God, the grave clothes of poverty, debt, and lack. Remove, oh God, the grave clothes of destruction, witchcraft. Remove, oh God, the grave clothes of godlessness. Remove the grave clothes of setback. Remove the grave clothes, oh God, of rebellion, stubbornness, disobedience. Remove the grave clothes, O oh God, of the Python spirit, Jezebel, Ahab, Adalia, Marie's spirits, O oh God. Remove the grave clothes, O oh God, of adultery and fornication. Father God, remove the grave clothes of adultery, divorce, and separation in the name of Jesus. And set our children free. And set our families free. And set our spouses free and set our loved ones free, oh God, and set us free. I thank you, oh God, that we are set free and we have life and have life more abundantly in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that we're no longer bound. There's no more grave clothes of deception, no more grave clothes of confusion. I thank you, oh God, that we have your wisdom. We are clothed with the beautiful garment, oh God, of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We have on the beautiful robe of salvation, the garment of praise. We are clothed with healing. We are clothed with shalom, peace, oh God. We are clothed with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, obedience, humility. I thank you, oh God, that we are washed in the blood of Jesus and we are brand new. If any man be in Christ, is a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Father, Father, I thank you that we are made clean. We are made clean by the blood of Jesus. And we are new. New on the inside. New on the outside. We have the new spirit of Jesus Christ on the inside of us. Our souls are clean. Our lives are clean and new, Father God. New and clean, oh God. Giving you glory. We give you glory, oh God. In our, in our walk with you, Father God. And I thank you. I thank you, oh God, that we're no longer dead, but we are alive. And Father God, we spend time with you. We pray. Father, I thank you that we pray. Read the word, obey your word, Father. I thank you, oh God, that we are held accountable, oh God. We have godly counselors and, and leaders, Father, helping us. We have godly divine destiny helpers helping us each and every day, oh God. Father, I thank you that the lights are turned on, oh God, and we see clearly the way that we should go. The scales are gone from our eyes, oh God. You're meeting our needs, Father God. I thank you that our children, our marriages, our households have life and life more abundantly, oh God. And we, Father God, we minister the gospel, oh God. We walk in your power, authority, and dominion in the name of Jesus. We 
walk by faith and not by fear, oh God. We walk by faith and not by sight. Father, we're led by your Holy Spirit. We're filled up with the Holy Spirit. And like Lazarus, we are resurrected to serve you, King of kings and Lord of lords. I cover this prayer with the blood. And I seal this prayer in all of us, oh God, with the eternal seal of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.